That's the 16th day of August 2023. This will be the third time we went over this field without using herbicides to knock out the weeds. You see we got some, but we got the pulverizer on. We're going to seed tomorrow. And uh, we got most of the weeds are pretty well gone. Yeah, it's a pretty good sized velvet leaf. Now, that's what you try to combat and see that whole field would have been covered like that. Let's see what this is. We'll try this strip up. You see that green flash? That's what we're going to knock out. And I'm sick and tired of hearing these so-called people whine on YouTube. They want to throw and grow. They don't want to work. They don't know nothing about growing nothing but bullshit. weeds in there and that took them out got a uniform now all I got to do now is put the fertilizer on and the seed and color pack it in and here's a special interest right here really works good these tight spots like this you can get in and around them. Like, I'll, I'll go down and show you. Uh, I can pull all these weeds out of here with that pulverizer around a tree. Use this for turnips or something. Anything you want to plant that's going to grow. But if you didn't have three-point hitch on that, well, you could lift it up. To be a bear. Well, I just think it's really showing this weed for the district and get like an area like that right there. And it's, you couldn't get it out of there. And when we get down in here, I want to show you the before and after. And it's nice about the color that is you can lift it up and go. It, uh, Yeah, I can back up right to that corn's edge and drag that out of there and it'll get what reeds germinated and it's going to be in the 90s next week with no rain so there won't be any germination but this is going to knock them out back and hopefully it will. Anyway, I'll show you how, see how weedy that, it's got that green flash on it. And I can back up in there, I see the coons have been out on the corn. But, uh, I can back up in there 
and pull that out so it's all uniform. Yeah, I'll get the tractor over here and I'll show you how we'll do that. You can see how that clean that field out and how good it is to be able to back up and go forward because if you couldn't you'd be in dire straits. We've got pretty good corn. I'll walk over here. Go up there and do this little corner up here, and then that'll, I'll be putting the camera up. Now you can see that green flash of velvet leaf. The nice thing about the pulverizer, three point hitch, I can back up and you'll see I'll clean that whole thing out of there. There you go. No wheat in it. Nice level seed bed. We should crank the fertilizer on. And see it's a little dry. We had five and a half inches of rain down here. And uh, might as well get the seed in the ground and go from there. It, uh, the thing is, seed bed preparation is a secret behind any good food plot. If you're sloppy at that, well, you're gonna re reap the rewards of your personality. Uh, like I said, these pulverizers, that pulverizer I bought in 1974. And if you take care of your equipment, it'll take care of you. And, uh, you can still buy them. And I can't emphasize this enough. People today, quite a populace, want the biggest buck. They want the biggest food plot, the best germination. And they want to do the least to do that. 
Well, it don't happen that way. And there's no guarantee that I'll grow nothing out there but dirt. But uh, you still got to do it the right way, the mealy way. You know, when you want something, you put your best effort toward it, and you don't try to do it on the cheap, and you don't try to do it on the easy man or the poor man. We as a country are going down the wrong road when people talk like that. Do it the best damn way you can.